Are you looking to move to the Phoenix metro area and you keep hearing about all these different locations and West Valley keeps coming up? Well, it's for good reason. The Phoenix metro population has skyrocketed in the last few years to around 5 million people, and a lot of them are moving over to the West Valley area. In this video, we're gonna talk about the five surprising reasons that a lot of people who are moving to the Phoenix metro area are drawn specifically to West Valley, Arizona. Hi there, I'm Kate Buley, Realtor in West Valley, Phoenix area. If you're looking to move to the area and you wanna know all things about West Valley, Phoenix, go ahead and follow my channel and hit that bell so that you never miss out on video on all things living in West Valley. I get calls, emails, and texts from people reaching out to me with questions about moving to the Phoenix metro area. So go ahead and reach out if you're ready or just binge watch my videos if you're just researching. I'm here to help however I can. First off, what is the West Valley? Here's a map of the Phoenix metro area. When we talk about the West Valley, we're referring mostly to the cities over here. Glendale, Peoria, and even further west, Surprise, Goodyear, Litchfield Park, Avondale, and even further west, Buckeye. We're going to go over the reasons that these cities are experiencing massive growth in population and why it might be the best place for your next home. If you're looking to move to the Phoenix area, you might be noticing that some areas have a higher price range than others. Well, because West Valley is so new, it's still being built out in many areas, uh, you're gonna find that the houses are on the affordable side. And as you'll see later in this video, West Valley is about to have a lot of growth in the next few years. So if you get in now, you can watch that home value appreciation happen. So even if you're working in Phoenix and you don't mind a slightly longer commute, uh, West Valley might be a great option for you. We're seeing a ton of new growth in West Valley. Not only are housing developments popping up left and right, but the next few years have a lot in store for West Valley as far as entertainment goes. We have the new Vi Resort in Glendale slated for the year 2024. It's going to include five acres of swimming with one mile of sandy beaches at least a dozen restaurants, 11,000 hotel rooms across four towers, an entire upscale shopping mall, and the coolest part, there's gonna be a stadium in the center of the resort for concerts, and many of the rooms with balconies facing inside will have a perfect view of the concert. Then, attached to the resort is another great attraction coming to Glendale, and that is the Mattel Adventure Park. It's gonna have rides built around your favorite Mattel toys such as Thomas the Train, Hot Wheels, Barbie. It's going to be both indoor and outdoor, which is perfect for the you know Arizona heat in the summers. They're going to accommodate for that. Um, not much more information is available other than that it is also slated for 2024, but we are super excited for it. So now leaving Glendale, we also have a lot of growth happening in the, all the rest of West Valley. Um, if you go up the 303 on Waddell, we have a Costco there that's been there for a while, but there's also a lot of shopping that just opened up. We have a Sprouts, a TJ Maxx, uh, Total Wine, tons of, of dining and more to come. That area is going to be built out a lot in the next couple years. So that's the village at Prasada, the Costco on 303. And then down in Buckeye, we actually just got a new Costco and they're gearing up for a whole bunch of shopping and dining around that also. And those are just a few examples of all of the growth happening over here. I swear, every time we drive around, it's like a new building is popping up. So as you've probably guessed, all of this growth that I just mentioned is going to bring in a lot of jobs, but that's not the only thing. If you drive along the 303, you're going to see a ton of new building. It's like It looks like a whole new city. It's bigger than an airport. And that is the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. They're building up there a huge mega factory that is going to bring in 8,000 jobs. So we expect to see a lot of development around that area in the next few years. And not so north, but just along the 303, we see a lot of warehouses and factories popping up that are providing a lot of jobs for the locals. Another thing you're going to love about West Valley is the lifestyle. It's less city feel and more wide open spaces, sort of wild, a little bit country still. There is great hiking all over the Phoenix metro area. Like it's, there's hills within the cities. You're going to find hiking wherever you want to go. In West Valley, we have a couple of mountains that are amazing. We have the Estrella Mountain Regional Park and we also have the White Tanks Regional Park. Both of them have some great hiking of all different levels and they don't get too crowded. The views are amazing. And if you're wanting to get out in nature but you don't want to hoof it, a lot of people around here have side-by-sides. Once it cools down after the summer, from about fall through the spring, uh, we love to go out almost every other weekend. We go up 
all, there's trails all over the place. We go up into the mountains, there's hills, there's streams, there's forests just north of the West Valley. Um, around the Lake Pleasant area, you go a little bit and suddenly you're in a forest. So it's just amazing that the the side-by-side -side culture, you'll see them all around. So in the West Valley, there's a ton of open land to still explore on those side-by-sides. Because we have Lake Pleasant up in Peoria, boating is pretty big over here in the West Valley too, which is nice because when you live in the desert, sometimes you just need to get in the water. Driving around the neighborhoods of West Valley, you're gonna see a lot of garages that uh, are built to accommodate the outdoorsy lifestyle. So we have these RV garages that can house a motorhome, a boat, or any other outdoorsy toy. Um, and it protects it from the sun. Last but not least, one of the surprising reasons to move to West Valley Phoenix is the wide open spaces. I know I touched on this a little bit in my last point, but you really can't beat those wide open spaces, the mountains at your back, sunsets over the hills, and yet you still can drive in for a nice date night in the city. If you're anything like me and you get a little claustrophobic when you're driving around and all you see are buildings, you're not gonna have that problem in the West Valley where farm fields are still a plenty. There you have it, five reasons to move to Phoenix West Valley. I hope this helped you narrow down your search for a place to live. Thanks for watching, God bless.